friends, I'm Rebecca. Welcome to Squintillions. Today I'm going to show you how to buy back a covered call. I'm using the example of Intel. In a previous video, I showed how to write a covered call on Intel. So now I'm going to show how to buy that call back. Intel had their earnings again based on the outlook and a shortage of microchips. The price of the stock has dropped. So I'm going to take this opportunity to buy my call back while the price for buying the call back is lower. Because I want to hold on to my Intel shares and keep writing calls on it, I want to just ensure that I get to keep my shares. I will write another call on it when the price goes up a little bit higher, maybe next week. But right now I want to take advantage of the lower price to buy the call back. So this is a demonstration of how to buy a call back in E-Trade. You go to where your call is indicated on your portfolio. I'm going to click on the down arrow here, which opens up a choice to close the call. And I'm going to click on close, which will bring us to a new screen. I've just scrolled up the screen so we can see all the information clearly. It shows the choices in Intel and it auto fills most of the fields here. Select a strategy, it's a call. The action, whenever you want to close a call, it's buy to close or buy close as they say in E-Trade. Quantity is one contract. Expiration is May 20th. The strike price was $57.50. It's a call. Now we get to the bid and the ask price. The bid price right now is at 0 0.02, which means that buyers are willing to close their call for $2. Ask price is 0 0.03, which means that sellers would like to get $3 premium for the call. So I'm going to choose the price type next. You can select a market order and it'll just automatically go for um, whatever's available. I'm going to make it a limit order to try to get it to close at two. Good for day, good for 60 days, good until date. I normally use good until date in the calendar. I put the expiration date. I don't care if this closes today or if it closes sometime before the 20th. Um, with the price having gone so low, I think I'll be able to buy it back at $2. Down here, it shows you your estimated cost. It'll cost $2 to buy it back and there's like a one cent fee for the transaction. And it's as simple as this. You click on preview order. It shows the order. You double check all your information as always. That you're going to sell it. Limit price is 0 0.02 and your good until date is what you want it to be. And then you place your order and it's as easy as that. And now you just wait for confirmation that your order has gone through. You get a confirmation up here. The notification bell will show a one to say that something has gone through. And then you can look at it you look at your transactions then and see that that has been confirmed. Easy as that. I received confirmation on Monday morning, May 2nd, that my Intel covered call in my E-Trade account was bought back at a price of $2 for the contract. I wanted to show you how I keep track of my covered calls in my spreadsheet. I'm here in my 2022 closed calls for my E-Trade account. I group my calls according to the month that they close in. And the reason for this is that when you're reporting your taxes at the end of the year, you report your profits based on when the call closed. So you wanna make sure you're keeping track of your calls when they closed. Even though I opened this particular call in March, because it closed in May, I'm keeping track of it with the covered calls closed in May. Let's go through what I have on the spreadsheet quickly and fill in the empty boxes. So I have the name of the company and their symbol. The buy price is the price that I bought the stock at. The current price is the price that the stock was at when I was looking at writing the call or first writing the call. And then the stock price at call open is the actual price the stock hit when my call was sold. And so now I'm going to put the closing price. This closed at $44.19. So there was a significant decrease in the stock price between when it opened and when it closed. And that was because there was an earnings date in between those two times. Now, if you're really conservative about writing calls, 
You might not want to write them when there's an earnings date between when you write the call and when the call will close. And then just to keep track of where we are with the 52 week lows and highs, I have those in there. Uh, it's one contract of 100 shares. The value of the shares is just whatever I paid for the stock multiplied by 100. And then I have my strike price for this call was $57.50. The expiration date is supposed to be May 20th. And the price that I sold the call at was $22. I made $21.48 selling the call when you subtract out the commission and fees of $0.52. Cents. So now I'm going to put in my exit price per share, which was 0 0.02. And then the total price is $2.00. There's a small fee of one cent. Now it calculates the gain I had on this call. So I made a profit on this call of $19.47. The profit percentage is 0.40%, which is a little bit lower than I like it to be. Uh, but I was going conservative on this call because I don't really want to sell the underlying shares. Normally, I like the profit to be between 0.5% and 2%. Anything more than 2%, it starts getting riskier to, to have your shares assigned. I don't really look at these categories too much, so I'm not going to go over them. Per share upside is if my shares would have been assigned at 57.50, that's how much I would have made per share. The in the money probability was what the options analyzer calculated as my risk on the day that I wrote the order. So there was a risk of the call reaching its strike price of 8% when I wrote the order. This contract is closed on Intel and now I'm able to write another call. I'm going to put the close date in is May 2nd, 2022. Under notes, I usually write what happened. In this instance, I closed it to take the profit. That's all that I enter when I'm keeping track of my covered calls. I hope this video has helped you if you're new to covered call writing, understanding on how to close your calls. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe for more content on personal finance and personal growth here on Squintillions.